All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Idaho Bassing. As you can see, maybe, I don't know if you can tell, I'm wiggling it a lot, sorry. Um, it's gonna storm, it's gonna rain, but today is my only day off. I get one day off a week and it's Tuesday, and the weather's kinda crap right now. It's supposed to rain all day, so I've got my raincoat in my backpack. I'm not taking the boat out, unfortunately, but we're gonna go try we're gonna go try to catch some fish. Um, test our luck and see how good we can do. But you do a little bit of pond hopping, uh, probably depending on how each pond is, we might end up going to three or four different ponds. Um, or we might just end up going to one, so it depends on how the fishing is. So I'm going to get rigged up. Um, I've got my Abu Garcia Vendetta with the loose term, tournament MB. Um, then I've got my loose mock speed stick paired up with the Mach 1 speed spool. And then I'm gonna rig my ugly stick here with my spinning rod. Um, I'm gonna rig this one up with the drop shot. Um, I'm gonna hurry up and get rigged up and we're going to hit the road, so stay tuned. We made it here to our first location. You guys probably recognize it. I've done several videos here. Right now, the water has actually gone up quite a bit. I'd say it's raised. I bet it's gone up four or five feet, so. Um, I don't know what the fishing's gonna be like, but we're gonna get out there before it rains and we're gonna catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get out there quick. Starting off, we're gonna do a drop shot and we're just gonna use these color changing uh, Senko type worms. So just like that. We'll just wacky rig it. See if anything's biting. These uh, Sankos, according to the package, they change colors according to the water temperature. 
or I can cast that popper, see if I can't catch anything on it real quick. We're out of the wind. It does have a weedy bottom. But we are out of the wind now. Looks like it opens up. Right down here again. God. Now well, we've been here for an hour. No sh guys, look at this. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find out what he snagged on. If he has a nice lure on it, wouldn't mind getting the lure. I don't see why someone would just leave their fishing pole. the hell kind of rig setup is that okay he's got a worm with the white tube and he has a swivel tied to the tube huh cool free rod well I know what I'm gonna title this video I am recording right yeah you guys are witness I found an ugly stick. See, I'm not the only one that uses an ugly stick. Must be an Idaho thing. I'm the only vehicle here, so. I got myself a new fishing rod. All right, guys, so update. GoPros died, I finally caught one caught it over here so I went and got the car got a new battery for the GoPro brought my other rod we're gonna try a little something different here we're gonna try a wacky rig worm This little cove is slightly wind protected. It's the only issue. I don't think wacky rig's gonna work, guys. So we're just gonna go back to what I was doing before. Because a storm's moving in. 
and I really don't want to get stuck out here. Gonna put a new bait on. I ruined the one, ripped one of the legs off. Weightless is the only way to go in uh, this mossy stuff. You put any kind of weight on it, and there we go. Feels like a big one. Stay pinned. Oh, it's just a little guy. But hey, it's a fish. He must have had me down in the down in the weeds. Oh man, he was barely hooked. Little guy, go back home. There he goes. He figured his way out. He felt pretty big, but he pulled me down into some weeds, I'm guessing. Across the top. That was pretty quick. Telling you, this is where they're at. While it's sitting there, enticing a fish to bite, I'll show you what I'm using. Wild Thing VNM Green Pumpkin. There's another one. Feels like another little guy. Yeah. About the same size. Hooked him a little bit better though. Right there, just little guys. Yeah, that storm's blowing in supposed to rain just some dinks nothing real big we're gonna move down here in this little corner a little better it gets pretty deep but let's see what we can do I really don't want to go right now. Finally catching some fish to put in the video. And what does it do? It's probably why I started catching them is because it's right before the storm. Here we go. Oh, he came off. There we go. Little guy again. Come on, give me your mouth. Little guy, let's hurry up and get out there and see if we can catch a few more. We're coming back out here. Might grab my raincoat. I don't know if this thing fits me anymore. Oh, I think he came off. Unless he's running. Nope, he came off. Well, damn it, guys. 
I'm getting uh, a little antsy because I don't want to get stuck. But I want to catch a fish. It's starting to come down pretty heavy. Come on, just one more. All right, guys, we got to go. I'll get back with you. Well, guys, it was a fun day. Didn't catch a lot of fish, but it, I didn't expect to catch many uh, with this cold front that we're in. And so we fished from nine to two and only caught three or four fish. Um, and they're all all the last 45 minutes Did walk away with a free fishing pole with a pretty nice reel but appreciate you guys watching and uh, I Know it wasn't the best the best fishing or whatnot, but Please smash that thumbs up button if you liked it if you haven't already subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.